everyone and thank you so much for watching. My name is Mila, welcome to my channel. Please like, subscribe, activate the notification bell. Okay, so today I have a haul. I wanted to do a huge haul, but actually I'm gonna do two small ones. So I actually have fashion, but I cannot be bothered to try on clothes, like seriously. Okay, fragrance, nail polish, beauty, I think is enough, okay, for today. And next time I'm gonna do you a bigger haul, a fashion haul separately. Okay, so let's start with beauty. I got the Mercury, Re Mercury Retrograde Palette from Huda Beauty. So this looks very cute, if I'm honest, and also it has more of like toned down colors, which are good for someone who's pale. And I just embrace the fact of being pale in winter. Sorry about the lighting. I, I cannot film in natural light without going blind today because the sun is just lower for some reason. So I just got that. I didn't even open it. Let's do the poison uh, test because the last Huda Beauty palette that I had from uh, the Neon collection was smelling like rat poison, like toilet bleach. And it was just terrible, irritating. And this one seems to have the same kind of packaging, plasticky packaging. I really don't fancy breaking my nails, if I'm honest. Like, really not at all. Ooh. So yeah, today I was planning to film, but I had a uh, doctor's appointment for my daughter. But it was pretty traumatic. She got three injections and I was like holding her like... <laughs> And my daughter was crying and she was like, mommy, that hurts, that hurts. And I was like, quite, I'm quite emotionally drained right now. So yeah. So yeah, the colors look great. Look. Tone down. I see myself using more than half of it. And that already justifies um, kind of like the cost of the palette. Look at the packaging. It's beautiful. If I'm honest with you, though. The fact that I'm waiting the Shane palette kind of removed all the glory of this one because I'm so excited by the Shane palette that I'm not really that bothered about this one. Of course, I'm going to use it, but I mean, I'm only going to use it until the Shane palette is here. Let's see, okay? Uh, guys, I always want to uh, do you like chatty, get ready with me, but they are so hard to film and they are so hard to edit. And they take me literally, a video takes me about 10 hours to film. And there are my videos that do the last views. So yeah. Oh, by the way, let's talk about views. I ha had a great month. Thank you so much. And guys, in December, I think I'm going to do the same thing I did in December 2017. Which means until uh, Christmas, I'm probably going to post five times a week. Even if it is random videos, tell me if you would want that. Because last time I did it, I had a lot more views, a lot more subscribers, a lot more brand deals, uh, a lot more AdSense. Uh, I cannot be more honest than that. So this is how it looks. I'm going to probably do a look with that. I also have to do a look with the James Charles palette. Okay, so this was a bit too chatty. So I never tried that. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to start by what I'm wearing today. I got the Alaya Paris Eau de Parfum Blanche. Okay, so this is a very likable perfume. It has kind of a Narciso Rodriguez Poudre vibe, also a Valentino Poudre vibe, you know, the bottle that is like pink and matte. Um, I would say that the lasting power is kind of medium plus. So it looks like that, the bottle. Uh, on internet, when you Google that, that looks white, but it's not because in store the tester is this color too. But yeah, this is called Blanche. So it's supposed to also be similar to um, Hypnotic Poison by Dior, which it is. It's a vanilla musky perfume and it's also powdery. Usually I don't like overly powdery perfumes, but when they're associated to uh, oriental notes, I do not mind. Here we have a mask and also um, vanilla oriental notes. I do not mind. Seriously, it's for classy women. So why am I wearing that? Like a beautiful everyday scent. Um, this could be a signature scent. Easy. Go try. Alaya. Eau de Parfum Blanche. 
Okay, so then, 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 then. Tell me if you want a separate review about the fragrances I'm gonna talk about. Then I got Flora Botanica from Balenciaga. The packaging is just goals. I'm gonna definitely do you a video about like the best perfume packagings. And this is just gold. Look at that. This is just, it's beautiful. Art, art. Okay, so this is um, a rose dry perfume. Dry meaning it's not sweet. And apparently it has some cannabis in it, which I cannot smell. And honestly, in Switzerland, you smell cannabis everywhere. Everywhere. I know how cannabis smells. I don't smoke cannabis. Absolutely hate it. Uh, it like, I remember smoking cannabis when I was 17 and it gave me such paranoia that no thanks. I'm going to just spray one in the air. I got the... Yes, look. The, the thing is that, yeah, it's a dry kind of green. Green rose perfume. Green meaning like grass, like everything herbal, like green rose perfume. Very dry, very original in your face and I would say like harsh. But if you want a full review, I can do it. And also I have never really tried it on my skin. It's the second time I'm smelling it. And the first time I really loved it. I think the packaging does it all. I got just a 30 ml to try. Usually that's what I do. Apart from rambling too much, I always, uh, I always start by 30, 50 mils, yeah. And then if I like it, I buy the full big bottle. Cause why not? I have some makeup that I'm gonna go through very quickly and some nail polishes because you're probably not that bothered. And everything will be linked to the down bar below. Please subscribe to my channel, activate the notification bell, like this video. Okay, the best mascara in my opinion is Snap Scara from Maybelline. I got three backups and I have one open. This is a really bad mascara if you cry a lot or if you go gym, okay? I'm gonna explain you why. It is the best mascara though. It is the best mascara if your usual mascara transfers. It is a wax-based ma mascara, which means that you can remove it with water. And you literally can remove it with water. If one day you are at home and you want a little glam up, just put this on. And in the evening, you can take a cotton pad with water and you take it off with water. It does not transfer unless you cry. Okay, so if you cry, you're going to look like a raccoon. And also, it's so the two beneficial things for me is that it's so easy to remove and it does not transfer to my lower lash line. And you understand, guys, that I'm always, not always, but a lot of time watching down on my phone. And so my eyelashes just like touch this part and this part becomes black. It doesn't happen with snap scar. Oh my God, that was magical. Then I got this. Uh, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Look how it's called in uh, German. Instant Age Leuerscher. <laughs> and in 06 Neutralizers. I just saw the shade and I was like, hmm, that's a nice brightening yellow shade. Why not? Let me try it. These are one of the best concealers from Maybelline. And sometimes Maybelline is very good. And I feel like Snapscara and this is my favorite product from Maybelline. Then I got loads of nail polishes, all from Essie. Some of you asked me if I see a difference in between this formula and this formula. I honestly will say no, but I feel like the ones I have from this formula apply more smoothly. I feel like what makes a nail polish last less or more is the base you use. Use um, Orly Bonder, China glaze, China glaze Strong Adhesion Base Coat or the base coat from Essie that is green. It makes your nail polish last, on me at least, five days. So I got these colors. So this is a dark purple color. It's going to be very hard to see. That is called Sights on Midnights. Then I got Amethyst Noir. Same kind of purpley black. I love this kind of color. Then I got this. This is more of a burgundy compared to the other ones, which is called Carry On. That's a bit of a sad name, like Carry On. No, I don't like it. Okay, uh, and then I got these ones. I don't know why I got these ones, but I was like, it's spring vibes, and I want to get into a nail polish vibe again. You know why? Because, because 
Acrylics ruin your nails. If you didn't know that, here's a fact for you. Acrylic ruin your nails. And um, gel polish, which I have right now, ruins your nails too because of the acetone you put on it to remove. It doesn't ruin it like crazy, crazy, but when you do it like for six months, non-stop, it does ruin a bit. And I feel like nail polish, it's what ruins your nails the least. And seriously, gel nails are better if you don't have time to do your nails, but I feel like it's winter. I don't go into pools. So my nail polish lasts long, longer when it's cold. I don't know why. Are we in winter yet? No, we are not. We are still in fall. Anyway, I got this kind of muted um, greenish color, which I think goes well when your skin is not tan. I like more brighter, like pistachio colors for tanner skin because they don't look good on pale skin. On pale skin, muted colors for nails, I feel, look better, except from red, uh, at dark colors and nudes. I think so anyway. And this one is called Sage You Love Me. Linked in the down bar below. And this is the same kind of muted uh, pastel lavender that is called Style in Excess. Okay, guys, I'm waiting a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff to come. And uh, I spent too much money. Okay, look, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. You know I love you. Please subscribe to my channel, activate the notification bell. I will see you in my next video.